Here is a video on how to send a file to another person via Skype. So I'm going to open up this chat with, you have to be, this is my main Skype window, but you actually have to open up a chat window with someone to send a file to. And I commend you do not send files to public room chat rooms with, or group chat rooms with many people in it. So I'm going to open up this Skype with myself by right clicking and starting a chat rather than starting a call. That's another Skype tip. And here we are with myself. <laughs> and the way you send file is you look at the top of the chat. Again, only send files generally to one person at a time in a private Skype chat. So I've opened up this private Skype chat with myself and I'm going to go to send, send file. Notice you can send money with PayPal. Send files, what we're concentrating on now. And then you uh, choose a file to send. How about backing up Skype contacts? That sounds like an interesting file to send myself. And so as soon as I, um, this, this is the send file to Julie Wolf um, window or send file to whoever it is you've got a private chat open with and once you click on a file again you can browse around um, in your browser using this feature find the right folder and find the right file and let me move this down so the file name is backing up my Skype contacts and I'm going to take it's a dot text. I'm not going to do anything with the file type, the second line, just the file name. And I'm going to open. And then hopefully I can show you this pops up. It's sending a file to Jewel Wolf and I'm it's waiting for the recipient. So once the person uh, receives the file, this waiting for recipient will change uh, and this bar will start to fill up while the download happens for them. They're downloading a file from their private Skype, from your private Skype uh, to their private Skype right into their computer. And um, you can have this, you can check this if you'd like the di this dialog box to close after the file transfer is complete. We're transferring a file. It's another way of saying sending a file. And if you wanted to cancel, you could cancel. Once the file is transferred, um, then it will say done here or something else, and you can click that to be done. The safe thing to do is when receiving a file is to um, Always make sure that it's really your friend and that their uh, Skype account has not been hacked by someone. There's a, a hacker, a, a virus going around that's hacking um, Skype accounts and uh, sending a file to um, compromise our friends' accounts. So our friends' accounts will look like they're sending us a file. So anyways, there is this precaution with sending a file. Um, through Skype. Be very, very careful. Um, always let your people, well actually sending the file is safe, <laughs> but receiving files you have to be sure. So here um, my other Julie Wolf has asked me, are you sending me a file and why? What is it? Please prove to me that this is really you. So if they just say it's a picture of me and they don't say anything to prove that it's actually them, uh, or, you know, they have to say something that you'll know for sure that it's them in order for you to receive the file and feel safe. <laughs> so, um, always tell the person why you're sending them the file. So, I'm going to do that. And I should have done it, actually, when sending a file, you should always tell people you're sending a file or ask them even, is it okay, is, uh, is it okay if I send you a file on how to back 
up your Skype contacts. And then you can say, yes, it is really me. We met well when we were born, blah, 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 right? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay. And give, give, um, give proof. Now I'm talking to you instead. Julie Wolf, give proof that it is really you. We, like, for example, we met, you know, and then how you met. Blah, blah, blah. Not blah, blah, blah. I'm just making things up. So for you, you can hear that Skype being sent to my other computer where I have my other account. Blah. And that's basically how to, to send it. I want to show you what it looks like when the file's being received. You know, I'm going to send that file again so that I can make another video on how to receive the file and how to do that in a safe way. So here, go up to send in the, in the private chat that you have open with your friend. Again, I prefer not that you not send to groups of people. Um, send a file. Okay, I'm going to choose backing up Sky contacts. Have to move the video down to show you once again. Open. Da, 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 da. And then this pops up again, sending a file. And this time, the other Julie Wolf is online. And um, we'll just wait until that file is received. Okay, let me accept. Okay, to complete this video, and remember it is followed by the sister brother video on how to receive these Skype files. Um, First, I wanted to show you what it looked like when the recipient has not yet accepted the file. There, you're, you are waiting for the recipient here, and here's one that has been accepted. Done. See, the first one says sending file. The one says sending file done. And the first one says waiting for recipient at the bottom and this one says your file has been successfully has been sent successfully so you can just close that and that's pretty much and these you don't want to cancel them <laughs> so if you're still waiting for recipient you just minus it thanks for watching another Skype tips video